Galitz will kick off. This is the first Big 12 game of 2016. It's caught by Shakir Ryan at the five-yard line. Out. Lamar Lorenz, who was third in the team in tackles last year with 80. Lorenz, a little bit of a move. Over three years of playing for Louisiana Lafayette. And for the third straight time, he hands the ball off. Transfer from Blinn Junior College is punting to Tony Nicholson. Nicholson back deep to receive. He's calling for a fair catch since last year for Seth Russell. And he'll start this season by throwing it to the right side where it's caught. 27 games that he's played for Baylor. Running it for the first time, the Baylor Bears. Russell State, he said it was pretty easy. And KD Cannon caught three of those passes. Holding offense, number 55. This team, they averaged nine penalties a game for 80 penalty yards per game last year. But this penalty doesn't hurt them. A shot Glenwood takes the third down and long handoff. Down here on the field. With the spotting of the ball to the 18, it's officially a 42. And it's a sophomore who ran for 556 yards last year. is in the backfield. Russell is putting this up in the end zone. Fixed. He's the other receiver in this formation, which is officially third and five. And a run and breaking tackles and charging into the end zone. Tough yard. The big back loves to run downhill, and you saw the turn. A true Bayless kickoff. Ryan only ran nine yards on the last kick return. Jones is the running back. Brooks Hack still has it thrown the ball on four snaps. An impactful play on first down with a big loss. Now they run it end around. There's a flag down. Holding offense number 75. That penalty's declined. Close. He did not grab a face mask. It's third down and 27. Pass and things develop too quickly from inside or outside. Offense number 43. They started that drive at the 25. They were backed up 21 yards. And a poor punt for Eric Pachoni. Tony Nicholson feels it on the run at the Demon 41 yards. <laughs> Starting at the Northwestern State 31. A pass by Russell. A catch. Rouge with the tackle. Inside handoff, second and two. Shotgun Wood spins out of a tackle. He breaks another one. He cuts it to 10. In power. And the power and quickness to be on display again in college football. Russell keeps it. Austin Baltazar did right there. This time it's Linwood running it. It's third down Holding on Baylor. Offense number 55. Worth the third down long situation. This time it's Terrence Williams, head of speed. But this time Callahan made eight field goals last year. Sophomore from Rowlett, just outside of Dallas. That's Drew Galitz to kick off for the third time already here in the first eight minutes of change. Shakir Ryan, the Demons. Next week they open SLC play against Incarnate Word. Rolling lineup on the perimeter as a wide receiver, which he is here, but they're going to go to DeMar Loren. We're started. That's KJ Smith, who has 11 career starts. And Hack is in trouble, and he's in a lot of trouble. He did get rid of the ball. Fast. Tony to punt. Tony Nicholson, 43 yard line. A little crease. And they run the football, and you got to tackle these big guys in space. And in space right now on a catch. Side, it'd be worth a shot. Chris Platt, 11 catches last year, first of this year. Now a run at the 34 yard line. 76 and right tackle with the key block on that last play. And another block and another hole. They are in high, high tempo speed. A throw to the end zone and complete. Senior from Garland. Handing off, Gerald Day. Third and goal, play fake, throwing, end zone. Play fake, underneath, caught. Makes it 17 to nothing. Kick out of bounds on a kicking team. Jones from Tylertown, Mississippi. We'll see if they can get that positive play. They can't because they go to the outside, and it is fumbled. Fumble all add up to a negative 14 yards on the play. Now they're going to throw deep. Offensive coordinator for the Demons. Not many plays for third and 24. Against that speed to counteract it. Hunting again. Eric Pachoni. In the cadre of running backs here. 1,000 yards right on the nose last year. Here's a pitch and catch. Quick offense at the 40 on first down, play fake, a deep ball, Chris Platt is open, he's caught it, touchdown, Baylor! After further review, the receiver's foot hit the pylon prior to receiving the ball, therefore it is an incomplete pass. Young receivers here for Baylor and Platt is a sophomore. Katie Cannon will catch it, makes a man miss. First down. Running the ball is 
Terrence Williams. You should feel involved. All start offense number 64. Years is still in place. Sophomore from Ennis, Terrence Williams running the ball again. Second down and 11. He has the first down. You're in trouble with those offensive linemen that are free getting up on those linebackers. Yeah. Fake to Linwood and a heater. Now third down and he fires it again on this attempt. All start. Offense number 77. 78 to lead the way. Bryce Petty has 62. They've played four times in the last decade. The average score of the games between Baylor and Northwestern State has been 59 to 9. This one's 24 to nothing. Up holding. Might have been guilty of a hold. 14 of the receiving team. It has been a long night, and the game is only 13 minutes old. But there's a nice throw and a catch. The Bobby Chan Chan cutting into the middle of the field, and this will be Northwestern State's first first down. For the junior receiver from Cypress Creek in the Houston area, his dad is from Liberia. Has to look at and be very pleased with. That's a loss of a half yard. It's third and a long six. It's a rollout, and Hack is throwing. So the jersey kind of pull away. Number it's nine. too obvious. Cliff before moving on and finishing out his last two years for the Sherman Bearcats. Bouncing outside. Now it's a deep ball. Hack going way down the left side. At the 43. Third down and long. Third down and 11. Hack going down as he throws. Marker down to pull the punt. Tyler start. O'Donohue. Offense number 88. The neighborhood of his own 25. Busy night for Tony Nicholson in the return game. He goes out of the 16 and look at that hole. Oh, there comes a marker in. He's going to blow by the punter, Pachoni, and run it into the end zone. Holding. Receiving team number five. Does have the six penalties for 50 yards. They start at their own 29. And another big gap on his first carry. Here's Joe Michael Hasty. There, smaller than the other backs, but faster. 19 yard run. Tackle broken after the catch. Ran his pulling guard coming around the corner. And he's going to run people again. Snap back to Russell. Quick throw to Chris Platt. Trying to get his money's worth beat out here in the field tonight. Second down. Number five for Baylor. They'll hand it off. Shot Glenwood, and he's in trouble. Here's Callahan is just two for nine. This, though, he handles with ease. Baylor Bears early on in the second quarter. Drew Galen's kickoff. Fielded two yards deep in the end zone. Shakir Ryan to run it out this time. Sorry. Blumenthal is not one of the Texans. Officially, it's a loss of two. And it's an option, and it's Blumenthal turning it up state's total, which is tonight minus nine yards. In the end zone, just stepped out past the goal line. Eighth high school in Rockwell. Ball start on the offense. Started his college career. Pachoni is the place kicker and the punter. This punt forces Nicholson back to the 50. He's run one back for a touchdown. It was called back through to a penalty tonight. He's not going to reach the end zone. Fine punt return by Nicholson. First and goal at the five. Play big. Russell. In the backfield, here's Terrence Williams. Jammed right at the line. Defensive front, guys. They're still playing hard. Play big. Another play. Another tight end. Furbacher was just lined up at the fullback position. He came on a, a slide. Back deep to return a kick tonight, but he is. Won't have a chance. It goes out of his hands in space. On the kicking team. Game right now. They go with two running backs. DeMar Lorenz and Chris Jones. And Lorenz, seven yards. There will be better days for him. This penalty on the third down tonight. Here's Blumenthal. Heavy pressure. They do find Lorenz. The underneath receiver is a running back. Ten frame. That's a stocky guy. He has some twitchy movement to him. Low snap. Pachoni got the kick away under some degree of duress. And it angles out of bounds. First down at the 30. Russell's throwing. Away tonight. But they have pursued better. Running play. The accelerated tempo of the Baylor offense. Quick snap. Play fake. Deep ball. Seth Russell to give, give Lee Tomlin a chance. 45 yards, it's first and goal to 10. Baylor lead to 41 nothing, which he does. That was my number one thing, don't fall. As we see the Drew Galen's kickoff here, and Ronald Green. <laughs> 37 yards to catch, that might be an all-time record. All 320 pounds of him 
from Spring, highly touted young defensive tackle. Ooh, bullet throw, nice catch. Still looking to convert a third down tonight. Ben and, and Baldy, as you guys know, as you see a flag come down here, uh, a, a, a saying and something as old as the game, low man wins, and getting low helped Young. Illegal formation, offense number 14, not enough men on the line of scrimmage. Baylor has elected to put that five-yard penalty at the end of the kick. Uh, you know, he's a guy that was five foot ten and made a Hall of Fame career. First half helped Baylor build a 41 nothing lead and now they're getting some value back in almost every single year due to injuries and so Seth Russell is that the lineage of quarterbacks here and Zach Smith's first collegiate throw. Play. He felt good he came out healthy from that one hit. He a few strikes he got his timing down a little bit. And it's first down and it's Zach Smith. Here's a quarterback gives it to Terrence Williams. Been in the end zone one time tonight. Now for the second time. 72 yards rushing tonight for Terrence Williams. We'll have a kickoff here from Drew Galitz. And Northwestern State would presumably be hoping to get to halftime ASAP. One by Green. I believe that it's time for it to go. This will put Northwestern State. Lorenz with another run. This time to the outside. Content though to run and get to the locker room. Now 107 yards away from passing Walter Abercrombie for most rushing yards six years ago. As we see a handoff here to Michael Hasty. Line, you know, just try and find different ways to improve in the scoreboard. Game comfortable in hands after the first half onslaught. But there's still a lot of lessons and a lot of things that they can learn from this game, you know, that you wouldn't have seen otherwise. So there are game plans already in. Six yards needed here on second down. Throwing performance. Now they may try to build some depth there. Tanner Thrift is in right now at right guard among them. Is, oh, it's a nice. Ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Second and 10 at the 36. He is a hasty guy with that ball in his hand. No doubt it's appropriate. He's going to bounce out here, and he's got room to run. He ran for over 1,400 yards at Longview. Now a throw to the end zone, and it's caught Duke in 2010. Connor Martin is now kicking off. Drew Galitz is the punter, and he also kicks off, but an opportunity for Connor Martin to kick off now in the second half. Team college football playoff losing in the semifinals to Clemson. Rolling Brooks hack. He's the hottest coach with the hottest team in college football right now. So right. I mean, we, we play in a, in, a, in a time where it was more balanced, based more emphasis on running the football. After this first down run again, their system. So I don't mind the fact that it's early in this season. Let's say the Demons have not taken a snap in Baylor territory. And Ronald Green at that position. Brooks hack is rolling out here and throwing it. Snapping for the Baylor 49, and now it is 0 for 10. Certainly shined as a punt returner for Baylor in the first half. Had a touchdown call back, had another return. Credit at Colorado, high school-wise. Schreffler has come into the game. There's a marker down. It's a keep slip this out. Offense number 54. September 24th, that lack of depth. A lot of depth when it comes to linebackers and secondary, so it's real loss of depth. And these, this time of the game is important for these young players. Play a game, love a game on the offense. Blocker up front. Galen's last year as a freshman averaged about 41 yards a punt at the Baylor 45. Ronald Green runs the ball. Breaks, you know, and that conference has been a dominant player from the day he stepped on campus at Baton Rouge. For Deshaun Watson, and then he gets even more importance because, you know, quarterbacks always do that. With just a skosh over three minutes left in the third quarter. Looking to convert the third and 14. Pass Western State a first down. Defense number three. The intended receiver. Now DeMar Lorenz on second and seven of the 21-yard line. Lorenz runs the ball again. Spinning, still on his feet, turning. You guys would answer the bell even if that were the case. As we see a third and short. Picked up a first down because of two third down penalties committed by Baylor. Jones bounces it outside after a problem. Go. 
two field goals. They have a chance for a touchdown at this visit, and they have it. I believe that we caught a glimpse of a little bit of a grin there for Brooks and Pack. Onside kick. The playing stadium, and then go to Houston to play Rice. Two weeks from tonight. Ball comes out. Blumenthal is now in at quarterback. We saw Joel Blumenthal at the Plain Stadium in Waco, Texas. Baylor Bears ranked 23rd in the nation. They've taken since that turnover. It's a pass by Blumenthal on third and eight. And this time, Rashad Quartet, but you had a, a trio breaking out. As Pachoni shanks the punt, and it goes out of bounds. Poor punt for Pachoni. We'll have to talk Neil Diamond, 14 of them, and four of the 14 completions. News about the dismissal of Art Bryles. You know, I, I don't think I've ever met a young man that's as mentally tough and was willing to accept the 2016 season unfolds. We see Galen's punting for the second time tonight. By the way, Preston Hurd. Or that his wife was so supportive and on board with that. Well, you know, I, for the Baylor bench. Five yard penalty. Four. He's tied for the all-time record in head coaching victories at Wake Forest. They get the snap off the time here before the end of the play clock, and they do. Eric Pachoni with the kick. Trevor White with the return. Football's dropping in. What these receivers see. I think that's the thing where Waters, by the way, is that free safety that's there right now for Northwestern State. I got that right. Number one. Offense. Zach Benema, one of the walk-on quarterbacks who have played here in the second half, number eight. Northwestern State was the last Southland Conference team to defeat an FBS school. They're thinking, hey, I gotta turn my hips and go because they're gonna throw these nine routes, these vertical routes, and then all of a sudden they start running an interior run game. D. Allman from Bossier City, Louisiana is into the game at quarterback. I remember what it A new record with a 12th punt tonight for Northwestern State. Trevor White. They will upset somebody in Ames, Iowa, so watch out. They've got a tough... Yep. ...of the opening night of the season on a Friday night here at the Plains Stadium. Baylor in the second half. They have... Shut this thing down here in the third quarter. We noted earlier, 54 in a game against Duke in 2010. Which championship games will be on Fox in December. We're early November, so we'll know before long. Wise, in the fertile recruiting ground of the state of Florida, when you see Houston tomorrow, is one of the hottest coaches in America. Tom Herman, part of the story, but of course, a tremendous quarterback. Uh, there are so many Heisman candidates this year, we didn't even broach the subject of the possible. Never met you know any of these players before, but getting to know 100 new names and you know, 10 new coaches. Yes. And it's a hard thing to turn off. And I think when you get a special opportunity like this. Making that phone call. Home, I'm sorry, after being on the road tonight. Okay, incarnate word. 